Roads lead to White Stadium in Franklin Park this morning for the 19th annual BAA Half Marathon. The race kicks off in just under an hour. Tashani Whitlow joins us live now, and the runners are starting to arrive, right, Tashani? Yes, Michelle and Nick, good morning, you guys. I am actually about to usher in one of nearly a thousand runners participating. This woman traveled more than 2,600 miles from Manhattan Beach, California. She's participating in her 40th race. Sylvia, come on over here. You've been running now since high school. Tell me, what is it about running that just connects with you? It makes you feel good. Um, it, you get that, especially once you get to that runner's high. Um, there's also a community of runners that we all support each other. There's a lot of camaraderie within the running community. Yeah, so there's multiple reasons. Now, you're actually using uh, the BAA's 19th annual race in preparation for a race closer to home. Can you tell us about that? Yes, so I'm prepping for the LA Marathon um, in the spring. So that's the spring marathon closer to home in LA. And this is a great, especially the BAA races. Those are such always first class races. And so we wanted to come out here, experience um, the half marathon, and uh, prepare for Los Angeles. Now, on top of preparing, and Sylvia is no stranger to the Boston Marathon. You've actually ran that six times. Correct. Correct, right. So I ran that six times. The very last time was the, the year after the bombings. The bombings was going to be my last one, but um, once that happened and we didn't get to cross the finish line, so I decided to do the sixth one, the one afterwards, yes. But that's one of my favorite races of all time. And why is that? There is, um, you have to qualify for it. So it's a very special race. And a lot of people try to get to that point where they can actually run that race and not everybody gets to run it. So the fact that you can qualify and you can get to run it is really, it's like, it's a special race. It's one of the things that you'll always cherish. You know, those are my favorite medals, my favorite races, my favorite running memories. Well, thank you so much, Sylvia. Now, to track runners like Sylvia, you can head over to our website at cbsboston.com. And Sylvia was actually gearing up to take off. The race starts at 8 o'clock. We're probably about, how many more minutes? We have an hour until that race starts. Stay with WBZ as we continue to follow the 19th annual BAA race uh, in conjunction with Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Live at White Stadium, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ.